Hi, uh, this is a video response to um, a video that Terry Thompson made with regards to PDA and um, how it fits in with autism and I think he's comparing it to a cluster B personality um, disorder or how it correlates with those <coughs> with that cluster. Um, what I would say generally is with regards to all these disorders, I mean I have as far as I'm aware undiagnosed Asperger's um, what I would say is it's just well it's a group of people isn't it that don't actually have it labeling people that do um, for convenience's sake you know um, so it's it's just another it's just another type of person really um, I presume the label exists so that it makes it easier for people who have this particular range of conditions, whatever they are, to, to interact with society generally that, that doesn't. Um, so people won't think a person is weird or strange, they'll just think, oh, that's that person. So that's it's just like any other label, isn't it? You know, like for example, somebody's a criminal or somebody's a doctor or somebody's a child, it's just it's just another label um, that goes with all the other labels. Um, but you know, I mean, uh, uh, as you'll see on my um, on my on my YouTube channel, um, I think uh, Harry, you've actually seen the the model that I I proposed, um, which which sort of which sort of like indicates that everybody's somewhere on the the, the spectrum of existence or in terms of like psychology. Um, and we're all at different levels or at different stages or different percentages on a range of scales. That that includes everybody in society, everybody in the world. We're all at different levels with respect to um, different things. Yeah, and it's just that with some people, they're more pronounced. And so that uh, pr precludes them from mainstream society generally because they've got such a variance with regards to certain aspects of their psychology that... They can't, they can't move forward. It, it, they just don't fit unless you put a label on them, and then sort of like give make an adjunct from the, for them in society, um, so that they could be treated differently or they can be accommodated. Um, but with regards to, <clears throat> with regards to whether a person fits here or they fit there, um, the fact that PGA exists and it's been recognised, well. It exists, you know, it's as simple as that. Um, with regards to autism, you know, it exists, you know, it's as simple as that. Um, and all it goes to say, all it goes to show is that, you know, um, this person is uh, special, you know, it's, it's so like special goods, um, special cargo, or whatever, so that they should be uh, treated accordingly, you know, not just um, dismissed as a regular well, not regular, but it should not be dismissed as um, just a, a standard feature of society because they're not, you know, there's, there's, there's some sort of like specific things that they've got um, that, that need to be accounted for or um, appreciated. So, yeah, so that, that's my thought with regards to, obviously, your video and this thing about PJ, which keeps, keeps getting bied around. Um, no disrespect. Um, my my um, my penchant, I would say, is like uh, structures and information, and obviously labelling comes into that, um, and so like stratifying different disorders, disorders if you would like to call them that, um, and so yeah, I'm not overly keen on um, going to the nth degree with regards to. Um, analyzing something that doesn't need it, you know, keep it simple. Um, if you've got PGA, you've got PGA. I, I think you know certain people in my family actually have it very strongly, undiagnosed, and um, I don't know. You just accommodate. That's that's the best way to deal with it. You know, once you've identified the label, don't take it much further than that, and just say, well, you know, he's got that. He's going to be able like this. Obviously, we should, you know accommodate it like this. I suppose when it comes to things like getting money 
from the government, you know, because of, you know, which is your right, um, because of the fact you have a certain condition, it precludes you from um, interacting with society in a specific a specific manner, then um, then yeah, obviously it becomes an issue because there's like politics involved and finance and that's always the bugbear you see, isn't it? You know, um, I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't know everything. Um, but yeah, just generally on the face of it, what I would say is that it's a label, yeah. Explain what it is and people should get on with it, you know, they should, um, they should accommodate it. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter whether it's on the autism spectrum or not. You know, this is a this is a philosophical issue, isn't it? Um, whereas the reality is that the label exists for people in the real world, isn't it? So they can actually handle and deal with certain things on a daily basis and get get through life. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, if you you feel that you're having to um, talk about these particular types of issues, these philosophical issues. Um, I'd say it's more uh, an issue of people not um, not accommodating you properly. There's something wrong with their accommodation model, rather than um, it being a philosophical issue. It shouldn't be really. It's a it's a practical thing, isn't it? Um, you've got some things, that, so people should just treat you accordingly. Um, but anyway, that's my two pence worth, and um, catch you later.